Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my The Last of Us Part 2 Grounded Difficulty Walkthrough and this is Seattle Day 3 with Ellie and this chapter is a bit shorter or the encounters are a bit shorter, a bit fewer so this video will cover that and the entirety of this chapter was what I was gonna say. And the second thing you want to do is throw that brick so these two guards head over to the right or at least turn their attention to the right. And you may have seen just at the beginning of this video as the encounter started I put down a trap mine next to the concrete thing I was hiding behind. That will make it a lot easier and a lot more streamlined to get out of this encounter because you see here there is a secondary patrol. And we are going to make them run over there because one of those two first soldiers is going to find a trap mine. <laughs> and the only threat left then is that woman over there behind a concrete thing. I would recommend you take the bottle I just picked up and throw it in her face which will make your escape more clean. And the mine will go off right about now. There we go. And that makes the two male soldiers run over there. So now she is the only thing we have to worry about. If you crawl a bit further than I did, I don't think she will notice you. If she notices you, you have two options. Either just leg it <laughs> like I do. Or, as I said, throw the bottle in her face. You will get new chances to pick up bottles. I think there is one over here on the bench. Yes, so you can pick that up if you decide to use it on her. And I would actually recommend you do so. It makes the escape a little bit easier, a little cleaner, and you will not run any risk of getting hurt in the process. And here we have a little optional area. This is a little parking garage that you will find on the left side of uh, the next area, I think. Or the next area you get to after that fight. I think it's worth coming in here just because there is a med kit and some ammo and a machete in here. And things got a little bit organized. What you're supposed to do here is head over here on the left side and then go up here to the right. And then we move up left again and the stuff is over here by this corpse. There is a handgun bullet, there is a machete and there's a med kit and I decided to switch out my axe. Also, when you get up there, you may have seen the little transitions. So, there is a checkpoint when you get up there. And after you've picked up that stuff, just head back the way you came in. And you will come out scot clean. Because Jesse draws the attention of all the infected in there. Good work. <laughs> and in here, this is also one of those really slick and clean encounters. You will find a brick there on the ground when you get there throw your bottle that will draw the attention of the dog handler so you can just hug this right side and stay in the tall grass and crawl because there is a sniper up there on the, the scaffolding I think it's called so you don't get his attention that would be that that would be a bit sad. <laughs> And then we just continue over here on the right side. Now you're basically safe. Or at least for now. And now, and uh, when we get back outside, over here is also another bottle if you didn't pick up that brick. And now we're gonna head into the second floor of this building because there is some good loot and I also want to put myself in a position where I can keep an eye on First of all, the sniper, and also there is a guard patrolling. You see her right over there, beneath the sign? Well, it's not even a sign, it's a tarp hanging on the scaffolding. But we are gonna wait for her to start walking away, which will give us a clear path to go into the next section of this area. And as I said, while you're waiting, Make sure to pick up some good stuff. And I talked about that in one of my previous videos. I think I, it was day part two of Seattle day two. In this chapter, before this chapter ends or this day ends, make sure you have free smoke grenades. 
So if you have the resources to do them right now, make sure to do them while you're waiting. Because you want to have three smoke grenades, two arrows, and a shotgun uh, shell going into the last section we're going to play with Ellie later on in the game. So make sure that you have the smoke grenades. The shotgun shell is not totally essential, but I would definitely recommend it. You will see me using it in that video when we get there. I'm not going to get too much ahead of myself, but I want to I want you to be forewarned so you're prepared when you get there. So at least make sure you have the smoke grenades. It will make the last chapter of this game so much easier. And now I'm just waiting for that guard to start pathing over to the left. You want to keep an eye on these people right here. For some reason, she spots me when I get close over to the van that we're going to swim beneath. And I'm not quite sure why. Because I am underwater when I get spotted. Or maybe not. <laughs> she spotted me just as I surfaced. Because Ellie has a set of smoker lungs on her. <laughs> so she can't hold her breath very long. But as soon as you get under that bus, you're basically safe. There are enemies over here in this building, so I would recommend that you head for the exit. But they don't seem to aggro if the enemies on the other side of just because the enemies on the other side of the bus aggro. And here you want to go up to the right, up that little metal roof thingy. I got a little bit confused. I think there is a workbench in here or something. I wasn't quite sure. This was just a wrong turn. So ignore this room and head up there. Through the hole in the wall. And you're through this encounter. Like so. And now it's time to steal a boat. And since this looks at least in uh, my preview. It looks kind of dark. I'm going to try to guide you through this. Go beneath the water, make a 180 turn over to your left and go into this little room. Go into this corner and uh, catch your breath and go through this hole and we're gonna make a left in here. And you want to keep your pace up because your control will start vibrating because Ellie is running out of air fast. And then we go through this little hole and we want to watch that walkway and go up to the very end. You see there's like a little spike sticking out or a bit of, bit of concrete sticking out. Sneak up behind this guy. Do not kill him yet. Before you kill him, move him in behind this rubble. Because there is a guard in the next room and I realized that if I just stealth killed him immediately, the guard would spot him. So move him in behind that wall and go down into the water. So you don't run the risk of getting spotted by the guy pathing in the adjacent room. I never got spotted w if I went down in the water. But it sometimes happened if I just headed for that little walkway going over. So that is a great thing to keep in mind. Now we have the very last hurdle. Getting through this or the second to last to be more honest. I tried a bunch of different strategies. I tried killing these two in uh, multiple ways and none of them worked very well. <laughs> Either one of these two spotted me or I got the attention of someone else. So instead of killing them, we are going to move up to the end of this little stack of crates. And let them finish their little conversation and then we're going to play the stalking game. Because we're going to stalk this woman a little bit. You want to crawl until you get up to around this point. Then start crouching. And now you want to start crawling again. Before she turns around. Then she will just walk straight past you. You may get nervous. Feel that you're about to get spotted. But you won't be. She is not attentive enough. <laughs> and this is the last hurdle. 
getting out of here because down there is the boat and before we head down towards the water make sure to look around that no one is close to the boat and no one is looking in your direction when you get up to the boat you will sound off an alarm because the boat is a trigger point so no matter how stealthy you are they will start shooting at you but we want to stay out of getting spotted until we reach the boat so no one is looking our way and then swim uh, below the surface until you get up to the boat and to move the boat when you start it this is where nerves come in first of all you have to start like any old generator do not mash the button and to get it moving press up on the left analog stick I <laughs> you saw me standing still for just a second that was because I thought it was R2 because I'm so used to it always being R2 so I almost got shot going out of there <laughs> so don't repeat my mistake press up on the left analog stick and now we are in the last normal encounter of this chapter after this there is a boss fight coming up and there are two ways to approach this fight if you are like me and you have nine sniper rifle bullets you can take this fight on I'm gonna show you I'm going up to a spot now where you will be completely safe none of the enemies can hit you up here none of the enemies will follow you up here so we are good just gonna have a turkey shoot but if you don't have eight or nine sniper bullets and you have two arrows I would recommend in that little base or whatever you want to call it we're gonna head straight down the middle after this fight is done or you will not see it in this video but there is a path straight down the middle which will lead to the exit and if you just bolt straight through with the boat you will get through alive you see it right down there in the middle just to the right of uh, that street light just when you get to this area just bolt straight through because there isn't super much loot I think there are like three arrows you can pick up and since I only had one arrow after my failed shoot <laughs> <laughs> during the hospital infiltration and also wanting to be thorough and show you if anyone wants to loot through this maybe you're going for collectible collectibles because I think there's one or two in there I want you I wanted to show you this way of doing it and I won't be using the sniper rifle again after this fight but since this fight is quite easy and calm we're just gonna be snipers here. I feel I've said sniper a lot of times now. I'm gonna finish something I started saying in a video. Because I talked about that the weapons in this game are a bit lacking overall. And uh, I said that I would talk more about it later. And I realized <laughs> that I never finished that train of thought. Because in this game you can upgrade your weapons in a multitude of different ways. And I feel that the only weapon that really felt powerful at base level when you're playing as Ellie is the shotgun when it comes to firearms. This sniper rifle, if you shoot them in the head, it's a one hit kill that goes for all the weapons. If you don't shoot them in the head, you hit like center mass, torso or back, it takes two bullets. And I'll, if I recall correctly, in the first game you could kill them in one shot. And I think you can upgrade the damage output on this rifle. It's, a, it's based a lot around upgrading. But I think... I'm not super pleased with that because I've talked about in earlier videos that I enjoy... When we come to these higher difficulties... That of course you take more damage, but your damage output should increase as well. Like in Ranger Hardcore mode in Metro games that 
The one that fires first is the one that lives to tell the tale about it. And it also felt a lot like that in The Last of Us 1. Even though a lot of times if you got spotted, you died. <laughs> But this game is a lot more lenient when it comes to Grounded. And as you've seen in these videos and probably experienced yourself if you're following this walkthrough, that they have put in a lot of mid-battle checkpoints throughout this game. So I think this is the last enemy. And I want to talk a little bit because we are going into a boss fight. Make sure that you load your shotgun, because we are going to face off against a bloater. And that bloater takes one Molotov and six shotgun rounds to go down. So we are going to kill him quite quickly when we get there. But make sure to equip the shotgun and Molotovs. And I think that's the last enemy. Here, as the fight kicks off, immediately throw a Molotov. Shoot him twice with the shotgun, dodge his swing, shoot him two times more and then run away. If you haven't done any upgrades, you only fit four shells into the rifle. Some runners are gonna get involved in this fight, just ignore them and shoot the bloater twice again. Now he's dead. You wanna quick kill the bloater just because there are gonna be more runners coming in as long as the bloater fight is uh, active. As long as the bloater is still alive, more runners are gonna show up. As soon as you kill him, the enemy spawns stop. So if you're quick, you're gonna only have to kill two runners. And that is that. That's the boss fight. It's done. Super easy, super quick. But if you're not quick to kill the bloater, you will run a great risk of being overwhelmed because I think there can be a maximum of like four runners and that can spell disaster quite quickly. But uh, in the meantime, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.